Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. This is Friday, weekly closes, and we're going to quickly blast through Uranium, um, the ETFs, the ratios, and all that good stuff. Where are we uh, in time? As always, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And yeah, let's get straight into business without any further delays. We are going to be looking at the URA. I have been cleaning up the charts a bit just to remove all, all the, the minor trend lines and so on. So we have the more, in my view, the more impo important ones to, to, to be looking at. Okay, URA, quickly want to add this bad boy in right roughly around there. whoop i I go away with you. There it is. Okay, let's get starting. Um, yeah, you know all the history, the big breakout, all that good stuff, yada, yada, yes. And now to me, it's, <laughs> it's basically all about bullish consolidation here. Before we go higher until proven otherwise, big move up here, and now we're just going sideways for just to reset the, the flaming hot RSI at this point in time. And uh, yeah, nothing much to add, really. A bit of a down day today. Uh, I actually thought, you know, together with uh, with the overall markets, I, th I thought that Uranium were going to perform a bit better than it did. But uh, the charts uh, is, is the charts, and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, so yeah, I th still think this is bullish consolidation. And now I've added this blue line in here, because I think this is the local top here, and that we could be in for... Some more downside here before going before going higher so uh, so yeah still long term zooming out nothing nothing wrong with uranium first leg up sideways and now we're going for the second here urnm same thing more or less but uh, a bit more of a beautiful bull fight compared to ura in my view um, i think this is some we will do something like this and then hopefully we will tag the green trend line here and then we'll bounce uh, especially if we make a, a lower low here, then I have, you know, an, an ABC correction in my view, and then we should be good to go. Uh, again, we have to wait to see uh, to see what happens, but we also have this internal rising wedge here that we are just coming down from once again. So I wouldn't be surprised if we, well, we're now we're roughly at uh, 40, 46, that we could go all the way down to a tad about 40 to complete this bull flag, and then we will go higher. Um, again, that would be a perfect launch pad to go higher and you can do you can actually do if this is the case let's do the measured move because people have been been wanting these measured moves you know for for different takes so we have the lows all the way up here and then oh okay fair enough and then you can add this bad boy in and you can uh, basically take the lows from let's let's call it here if there is way uh, so th this one should point to, to roughly 70 for the uh Broad physical uranium trust. If this flag, flag and then pole, and then we have the measured move. Uh, so yeah, let's see if that is going to happen uh, again. Until proven otherwise, I'm very very bullish on uranium. There is no, uh, th there's basically nothing on this chart right now that is to me pointing to that this is the end for this move. Um, you can see here breakout bull flag. Again, it looks totally fine from my point of view. Uh, you're on J. Same thing again here. Basically, we have the green support coming up and we have a bullish consolidation. This is bullish consolidation and we should go higher. That is the highest probability of this possible bull flag right here. U.UN. We looked at these, you know, we had this tag of the golden trend line here and here and we had the RSI coming down and down. And again, we are just selling off quite a bit here. Again, you must remember that even though that we have negative divergence on the RSI, that doesn't mean that we're going to crash. It just means that the momentum or the is is slowly coming out of the move. Um, but also you have to notice that this move is one heck of a move, right? So more or less everything that comes behind it is weaker than the initial move. So it, it just means that you know momentum is coming out and and uh, often uh, more often than not you just uh, you you can't go sideways and then you go higher. Uh, Many people think that, oh, we have negative divergence, so we're going to crash. It doesn't mean that. It just means momentum is losing steam. It could also be that we just need to wait to go higher, and then we blast higher once again. Because if you look at at the longer time frames, the weekly are in the overbought condition, which is exactly uh, where we want to be in this case. And the monthly is just, you know, yes, we are at uh, we are oversold or overbought, excuse me. But as you can see from over here, you can be over for a very long period of time when you have the monthly, weekly, and daily in a very bullish uptrend, then you will have uh, a long period of, you can see here, I want to show you on the weekly, excuse me, here it is. Here you can see, you know, a lot for a long time, the weekly being 
bouncing between 50 and very overbought conditions, and that's when you get these moves. Uh, so don't rely too much on the RSI and negative divergence and all that good stuff. It is a good indicator of a local top, maybe, but it doesn't mean that you're going to crash. Many people take that for, uh, for they, they think that, oh, we're going to crash now all the way down, it's over. No, it's not. B being overbought can be somewhat often a, 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 good, a good thing when you are in a massive, massive uptrend. You want to be overbought uh, as long as possible, really. Actually, against the SPX, I am very excited to see next week where we are in time. I want to show you why. We are coming in to our long-term golden support, which comes up here again. We just tagged it today. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, this is where we'll start to, to bounce higher. Right now, we are very range-bound, some, somewhat around here. And uh, a bounce here would be perfect. That would be perfect technicals to have that this sideways price action and then slide into this trend line and then we go higher. Uh, obviously, if we lose this trend line, then we have a different scenario. Then we are suddenly struggling quite a bit against the SPX and that, that is not what we want to see. Also, we talked about this head and shoulders that could come into play. If we lose this trend line here, we could visit the neckline and then we have a lot of work to do in order to not get below that neckline right there. Um, so next, next week, we will see how well we bounce here. I'm quite excited for next Friday's uh, close and hopefully we are somewhere around here uh, and we will we have that that bounce into that trend line. Alrighty, excellent against URNM. As always, we want this ratio to go down in favor of URNM. And we are, we are following the path that we have drawn here more or less. Of course, it, it went a bit quicker, but uh, but yeah, I think we could uh, you could visit the lows from over here still. And the name of the game in the uptrend was higher highs and higher lows. You can see here, and then we were rolling over, excuse me, in the downtrend. And now we're rolling over and we have lower lower lows and lower highs in favor of URNM. So for now, beautiful, nothing nothing much to add really to this ratio. It's just, it isn't a downtrend and you will have these counter trend rallies uh, on the way down. So what do we have here? URNM divided by RIM spot price. We did take out our, that bull flag right there uh, on top of this long-term golden trend line. So we did get a bounce here and now we are breaking out and actually retesting that bull flag right there. I hope you can see it from all the mess, really. So we did break out from the bull flag and now we're retesting. You can see here, the, we take, we actually ticked it to the yeah exact point there. And now we had a bit, bit of an intraday uh, bounce there, but now we have the breakout high here at roughly 0.64. That is what we want to get above, and then we uh, we have a lot more momentum behind us. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, so again, next week here, I want to see how it plays out. Right here, right now, uh, very exciting to see what is happening. URA divided by U uh, again uranium spot price. Look, we haven't touched the we haven't touched the upper golden trend line. This was a fake out as we spoke about, and look where we turned today. And now we had resistance again. We are coming into a major, major apex of these two trend lines here, that falling wedge. We are coming into the apex, and at some point in time, something is going to give in. And the, as you know from a falling wedge, the highest probability is the upside. Um, again, as I say, the highest probability. Nothing is set in stone, and uh, nothing is 100% uh, um, certain. But a falling wedge, you also you always will want to have a, a positive bias to that breakout to the upside. But again, you can see the golden trend line held very well all the way down. So doing its job, but uh, let, let's hope we get this move uh, very soon here. Next two weeks, very exciting. Uh, yeah, what do we have here? We have the URA against the the um, CRBs, the overall commodities. Still long term, looks 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 fine. Nothing to worry about. We did take out this blue bull flag and we're breaking out here. So again, now we're just waiting to see if we can get above the highs here. If you want to go back, there is some correlations to the chart here. Oops. So we have a lot of stuff going on at this level and that's the final layer. So now we're looking to getting, getting above roughly, let's call it 0 0.1 in this ratio to have further outperformance by URA. Um, I want to zoom a bit back here in this ratio, actually. This is URA against the SPICE. You can actually see ever since our, um, uh, why can't I not draw here, really? Oh, there it is, excuse me. Ever since the March 2020 lows, URA has outperformed the SPICE by 
uh, over 100%. In this case, roughly, we are now at 110% outperformance by URA against the SPY. Tremendous work, and that's exactly where we want to be. And also, we have had this move up here, bullish consolidation, and now we're going higher. And for now, I have cleaned up the charts a bit on this one as well, and I have located my two highs for this possible bull flag, and then we have the third here. So now we will see what will happen here. I want to I want to find the next low. It could be all the way down here, but it could also be somewhere in the middle point here. But let's see how low this goes. And um, and definitely these two are the pivot highs here that cr creates that blue upper. And this one is just a copy of uh, of the blue there. So this one is not certain yet. It, it, it will get confirmed if and if, if we get all the way down there. Um, but let's see, this overall is, is a bullish weekly long uptrend in the making and nothing goes in a straight line, as I keep saying. Um, yeah. We have here the URA against the the Nasdaq. That local high there, it, you can often see that this could be some sort of bear flag here. And if it is, then we have that ABC correction, which points to a target roughly around here. And uh, and yeah, so if if, if we're not are going to go all the way down here, then we need to stop breaking that white trend line here. Uh, you can see all the interactions that we have over here. And all the way over here, we have some some beautiful, beautiful connections with that trend line and a lot of iceberging here above that level. So, so, uh, so yeah, let's see. Again, we can do the same thing for URA against the NASDAQ. Look where we are, outperformed by 100% again. Beautiful. Uh, even, and NASDAQ has performed very well. Um, but URA has actually overperformed by 100% compared to, to the tech sector. So... That's nice. URA against Bitcoin. I want to show you. We ha I haven't touched these trend lines here for a very long time. Uh, we came into here as we spoke about, and now we got rejected all the way down to the lower, and we're getting a bounce. Uh, I'm not, uh, so this is where this one should hopefully come into place. Obviously, if we take out the lower one there, and this is just a tiny bit of a bounce, then Bitcoin is is a better place to be, really, until proven otherwise. Uh, compared to URA. Also, as mentioned many times, I really want to see that golden trend line gets taken out because then we're taking out a five, six year long trend line, meaning URA is now in the driving seat compared to Bitcoin. And again, Bitcoin has been the best performer for the past 10 years, 13 years. So that is quite a statement to make here if we can finally curl up here again. But I will say this, that you need to acknowledge that this is a possible bear flag right here, bear flagging, bear flagging, and then roll over crash. So it, it needs to hold here and we really need to get it back above that golden trend line. So, but how long will that take? We will get into December, I think. Yeah, very late this year, we will have the confirmation if we can break it. Uh, yes, here we have spot price against uh, silver. And again, as mentioned many, many, many times, I think we have broken out from a long term Inverted head and shoulders, right there they are, as you know, and very, very, very often, yes, I did say very many times, you will have to test that neckline to confirm the breakout. And that is what I think we're doing right now. I think if we were to do some sort of measured move here, the 100% measured move from this move down all the way up is actually roughly at the neckline. So that is my guess that silver is going to outperform the spot price until we get down to here and then we will see if if it holds or not but still silver looks to be able looks to wants to outperform in some sort of move like this uh, against the uranium spot price um, again silver has done tremendously well today based on the nfp big miss uh data that we got here like uh, six hours ago give or take oh, maybe a bit more eight hours but anyways Last but not least, guys, and then I will let you go on to do your stuff. Um, this is just uranium against gold. Again, same thing, major long-term neckline breaking out. And what do we want to see? Actually, we, we actually want to get that confirmation from the neckline. So that's where I think we're going. Uh, at least uh, that is how things often, very, very often play out. Um, so this, again, we have the first move down, then we'll probably have a longer move down into that neckline. We also have some highs here, which we also have to, to uh, what's it called? Yeah, it, it could also get some support there if we go, to, go all the way down to here. We have this, these two highs from uh, from like a year ago or two years ago. So that's also where we could stop if this move uh, goes all the way down there. So 
again, quick summary here. Again, the miners are in bullish consolidation. And why? how can we see that? You know, big breakout into sideways price action. That's always a bullish take. And uh, yeah, until proven otherwise, we are just waiting for the next leg up in this overall big, big uptrend for uranium. I hope you, you enjoyed it, guys. As always, leave a comment. I'm happily to, to reply. And uh, if we don't, I will make a video one or two more, I think, this weekend. But if not, have a great weekend. And uh, we will see you next week uh, for more technicals. And as always, if you like to see uh, more of this, please subscribe. Uh, that really helps me a lot. Cheers, guys. Have a great one. Bye.